Burien has a homeless problem for the second time in less than a week. The city is forcing people from an encampment. Today, police moved in and started moving people out around noon at Dottie Harper Park. Fox 13 News reporter AJ Janival joins joins us from where the sweep happened. So AJ, you talk to people on the front lines. What are you hearing from them about some possible solutions? Hours after that sweep was supposed to happen, there's still folks here behind me. What city officials say is they have until dusk to leave the park. Now, Burien has a big question on its hands. It's where will these people go? Unfortunately, for elected officials, for the people who live in this community, for the volunteers, and for the people who are homeless, it seems like there's no answer. Noon on Tuesday, Burien police go tent to tent asking people to move on. Well, I just I just throw some blankets down and, on the and sleep on them, yeah. People set up camp here at Dottie Harper Park about five days ago. People like Joshua. He tells me he was forced out of his encampment downtown last week. That encampment, about a half a mile away from the park, got a lot of attention and caused a lot of controversy. The people who set up tents there moved in after being forced out of the space around the city's library. When Burien went to move them from this spot downtown, King County Executive Dow Constantine said sweeping them from public land was illegal and refused to allow police to help in the sweep. That's because Burien contracts its police department from the county. Still, the sweep happened, and people like Joshua ended up here, a public park, where there is a law in the books preventing camping. Well, I understand, you know, because it's, it's hard to keep the place clean when, you know, you got, you got objects that you can't move, you know. Now he's moving on to the next spot, just like a few days ago. There's nowhere for them to go. Stephanie Tidholm is a social worker with REACH. On Tuesday, she offered help for people swept out of the park. She says nobody wants these people camping here, including the people who call these tents home. Everybody wants the same thing. Everybody wants them off of the street. We need a resolution. Instead of fighting back and forth about what that looks like or how it looks or where we're at now, we need a resolution. Tidholm tells me a lot of these people are from Burien and have no plans to leave their city. It's redundant and it's defeating. We do the best that we can in supporting our clients, but there's not a lot that we can do in this situation. And with only a Band-Aid fix, it just pushes the problem down the road. You gonna stay though? Uh, I remember that we're gonna be back by the library. So right across the street from the library, which is where it all started at, you know, so. <laughs> King County officials tell me last week they offered the city of Burien about a million dollars as well as access to some of their tiny homes to deal with this problem, but say they never got any answer on if the city wanted that money. Today, I spoke with city officials who tell me they never got that offer in writing. We'll keep an eye on what is going on in the city of Burien. Reporting here in Burien, I'm AJ Janival for Fox 13 News.